This is the time of year salmon move into the shallows to spawn on Lake Sakakawea. Mike Anderson shows us what goes on to make it happen. This is the process the North Dakota Game and Fish Department fisheries biologists do every fall to ensure there's a salmon fishery in Lake Sakakawea. We take our electrofishing boat out and uh, shock the salmon, which allows us to catch them alive. We then bring the salmon to the hatchery where we sort them by males and females and spawn the fish that are ready. Kinsler says the salmon they're catching this fall are smaller than previous years. Because of that, each salmon is going to have less eggs in it or smaller eggs, which will impact uh, their survival in the hatchery. So we will probably need to collect a few more females than we would have normally anticipated collecting. Our goal is to collect about a million eggs. There's a reason the salmon are smaller this year. We're thinking the salmon are smaller because our smelt population, which is the primary forage for salmon in the lake, our smelt are smaller than they used to be at a certain age. So a one-year-old fish that was historically four inches is now three inches. So our salmon are, are swimming around and it just takes more energy to catch the same amount of food. Using that energy to catch more food and not putting it to weight in length. So I think that's the reason our salmon are smaller. The reason our smelt are smaller is that as the reservoir is aging, it's becoming less productive. From egg to stocking, the survival rate is around 30%. The goal is to stock around 300,000 salmon into Lake Sakakawea next spring. So we're collecting the fish, we bring the salmon to the hatchery, they help us spawn the fish, and once the eggs are collected and fertilized, the hatchery then takes over and takes those fish, uh, hatches them, raises them up to the size we want. Then we will go back in and take the fish from the hatchery and stock them back into the lake. Salmon don't spawn naturally in Lake Sakakawea because there's no clear freshwater streams, which is why this process is necessary. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.